Hey everybody, this is going to be my very first uh, Bailey School Kids book review. Um, I've actually read quite a few of these, but I've never really wanted to upload these to YouTube. I, kind of embarrassing to read these, um, but they're very nostalgic to me, and I decided, you know what, let's try to knock some out. Um, this isn't a special edition series. Um, I don't know exactly how many right off the top of my head, how many there are. I think there's like eight or nine. Um, but yeah, this is Aliens Don't Carve Jack-O-Lanterns. Um, the special edition part of this is there's like these little word puzzles and word searches and different things like that in the back. Um, recipes for snacks. Um, but yeah, each one that special edition has something different in the back, but that's what this one had. Um, the story itself uh, follows Melody, Liza, Eddie, and Howie, four friends that go to Bailey School Kids. Uh, <laughs> they go to Bailey City Elementary. And uh, they get into different things. There's a very formulaic way of these stories. Um, the kids run into these weird adult characters. And more things point to them being something um, like supernatural or or different things like that. Um, and later on they find some kind of way for them to disappear. Um, yeah, this one follows the kids. They're um, waiting to like outside beside this little tree that they hang out with, I think. And they're, um, they see this guy go in and they're talking about like their Halloween costumes. They see this guy go inside the building and he's wearing, he's a little short chubby guy. Well, I don't know if he's actually short, but he's a little chubby guy. He's got his hair sticking up. It's basically this character here. And, uh, they see him go into the school and they say, you know, wow, he looks like he's already dressed for Halloween and he's wearing like shiny silver pants and a shirt he looks very weird. Um, they go inside, and they see this guy eat, like, a whole jar of candy sitting on the principal's desk. So, um, they learn quickly that this is Mr. Sparks. He is going to be a planning party guy. Like, he's going to be a party planner. And he's planning this Halloween party for the kids. Um, quickly, the kids begin to, like, help him do decorating for this party and all this good stuff. And, um, he starts talking about, like, decorate the, uh, building, like, Planet Lyron. And he starts talking about, like, building this thing that looks like a Prolinthius or something. Some weird P-word name. And the kids are like, okay, this guy is very weird, very strange. Um, they notice his eyes are glowing. And they come to the conclusion that this guy is an alien. Um, he starts carving jack-o'-lanterns with, like, three eyes and two noses. And I just realized... That's what the jack-o'-lanterns look like. I honestly thought these jack-o'-lanterns looked normal. But yeah. Um, and that's basically what the story is. Um, these reviews are going to be very short because there's not a lot that happens. And like I said, these are like... They kind of remind me of like a weird Scooby-Doo kind of um, story. But like for very much younger kids. But I was very nostalgic for these type of books when I was a kid. And uh, yeah, I do want to review all of them. Um, but yeah. Um, th nothing really special about this book. Um, that's basically it. They think that the guy is stealing candy to power his, um, spaceship to get back home. And, um, they think this because candy gives them a lot of energy, you know, sugar. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's basically it about this Bailey School Kids book. Um, I give it a three out of five stars. Nothing crazy. Um, it's really hard to rate these books because, I mean, it's nothing super special, but yeah. Three out of five stars for me, guys. Please let me know in the comments what did you think about these type of books. Do you read them? Do you collect them? Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of them, but I don't even think I have nowhere near all of them. But uh, yeah, three out of five stars for me, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.